Welcome back. This video is about the trigger state component that you can use to trigger an event on an actor and effortlessly re replicate it in a multiplayer scenario since all state components are set up to replicate. The trigger component is actually a bit of a borderline case since it works with a fire and forget principle that means it toggles the code you connect to its event dispatcher and makes sure it is replicated in multiplayer but it does not remember if it has done so before or changed the state of the actor. Still, the trigger component may be very useful. I used it in a number of videos lately, so let me show you now how I set up the actor with a little twist I did not add before. For this video, I want the bomb to start here to start displaying a countdown when I press this red button and explode as the countdown reaches zero, as I did in previous videos. But I additionally want the countdown to stop when I press this green button. Both buttons work with the comp select comp and for more on their setup have a look at the video in the description. Let's get started. As preparation I made a copy of the BP trigger example actor from the advanced framework core and stripped it from most of its logic. So we are left with a mesh. So first we need to add the text render to display the countdown. Next, let's add the trigger component and have a short look in the settings. As you might have expected, there's not much here. The sound you can enter here is displayed as soon as the trigger component is toggled. The only thing for us to do here is the give the trigger component a tag so the select component components on the button actors can find it. The rest is done in code. We need the time variable in any case, so let me create that first. And next, let's get to the tr component triggered event of the trigger component. This is where we control the countdown. As you might remember, we want the countdown to start when we press the red button and to pause when we press the green button. And we can do that with one and the same trigger component. Let me show you how. First, we need to break this source pin on the event. Here we have a name variable called identifier. You can find it on every interaction component, here for example. And it enables a state component such as the trigger component to distinguish between the toggle from different interaction components. Let's say the interaction components we are using in this case come with two different identifiers. Button start from the red button and button stop from the green button. Now what we can do is take the identifier and set up a switch on name node with two pins with the according names. Now behind the start pin we can set up the countdown. First let's look after the text render. We want to use that to display the countdown, so let's make it show the time variable that we need anyway. And to make things more obvious, let's decide that the text render is only visible once we started the countdown. Let's set up the code for the countdown next. For that we need a timer and I will make it a timer by event. I also could use a timer by function, but it's more graphic and thus even easier to show like this. We want the timer to call the event we bind to it every second. So let's enter one here and we want the timer to loop, so let's check this boolean. As for the event itself, we need to create a custom event. And first and foremost, this event needs to decrease the time variable by one and set the text render accordingly. Next, let's consider what to do when the countdown reaches zero. Now we want to stop the timer. And call the explosion. Let's set up the latter in the separate event. Here we are. I will just copy the code from the original BP trigger example actor and set all references accordingly. Okay. 
and, for good measure, let's add a destroy actor node here. Basically, this is the code I used in previous videos, minus the switcher name. To set up the pause, we need to get back to our component triggered event. Everything we set up until now only toggles when we press the red button with the identifier button start. The green button, as we remember, comes with the button stop identifier. And we can set up what it does using this, this other pin on the switcher name node here. Right now, we only wanted to stop the countdown, so we use a pause timer by handle node here and connect it to the handle of the timer. Now the trigger is set up, we only need to add the identifiers to the select components of the button actors and check all tags. We best do that here in the level. Let's try our trigger. As you can see, the countdown starts only when I press the red button. It pauses when I press the green button in time and restarts when I press the red button and upon zero, the bomb explodes. It's planned. Of course, you could set up even more complex scenarios or the same scenario using an active component. As in a number of cases, the advanced framework offers you here multiple possibilities to reach the same goal, so you can choose the one that fits your specific use case best. So stay open for new possibilities. However, that's all I have for now. See you soon. Bye bye.